Hi everyone, I'm Abby, field application engineer of Inviton. Welcome to the M031 Level 1 training. Today, I'm going to introduce the sample code of WDT, which is Watchdog Timer. First of all, you can download the M031 BSP from Open Nuvatan, which is the GitHub of Nuvatan, and unzip the file. Then you can find the level one training folder under the sample code folder. All the level one training sample codes are under level one training folder. The path of watchdog timer sample code is under BSP, sample code, level one training, level one WDT, Kyle, this folder. The project file WDT is the sample code of watchdog timer. In this demo, we will show you how to wake up and reset by WDT. In the sample code, we first let MCU enter power download, then use WDT to wake up system for 10 times. Finally, reset the system. The demo includes operations that to reset counter in the interrupt handling function, to wake up by WDT, and to reset by WDT. In addition, we also show the wake up and reset operations through the change of LED lights. You can find the mapping between pinks and LED lights in blowing table. We use LED red light to show wake up. The corresponding pin is PC4. We use LED green light to show reset. The corresponding pin is PC5. Before the demo, we would like to show you the source code of our sample code. We will go through the sample code via Kyle IDE to let you know better about it. Let's open the Kyle project file of WDT. In main.c file, the main function defines what we will do in this sample code. Before getting WDT to work, there are some initializations to do. First of all, we call system init function to initialize the clocks of system and peripherals. Before calling system init function, you have to unlock some registers in order to set clocks. After setting, you have to lock the registers again to avoid modification. In system init function, there are two things to do for WDT. One is to enable the clock of WDT. The other is to set the clock source of WDT. In this example code, we use LIRC, which is low speed oscillator, as the clock source of WDT. After system init function, we call UR0 init function to initialize UR0 for log message output. After initializing, blow log messages could be output through UR0. Since we will use LED lights, to show the operation of WDT. We have to initialize LED as well. In LED init function, we set PC3, PC4, and PC5 as GPIO function, and then set the three pins as GPIO output mode. Afterwards, set default value of all three pins as off. However, we will use two of them in this sample code, PC4 and PC5, will be used for showing red and green lights. After initializing LED, there are source codes here for checking if the system is started from WDT reset. When WDT reset happens, it will set the flag of WDT reset. Therefore, we can know if the system is started from WDT reset by checking this flag. If the flag is not set, system will go through the normal process. If the flag is set, the LED green light will be on and log message will be output for notifying that there is a WDT reset. The whole process will be stuck in the while one loop. The handling here is for demo purpose. You can define what to do after WDT reset by your requirement. Next, log messages explaining the sample code will be output. After the log messages are output, WDT init function is called to initialize the WDT we want to use. We use the function WDT open 
to initialize WDT. The first parameter of WDT open function is the timeout interval of WDT. The value we set here is 2 to the 14th power WDT clocks. It means if we use LIRC as the clock source, which is 38.4 khz, the timeout interval would be between 426.745 microseconds and 453.385 microseconds. The second parameter is a setting related to WDT reset. We can delay for a time interval before reset. In this sample code, we set a delay interval of WDT reset as 18 WDT clocks. The third parameter is used to enable or disable WDT reset function, and the fourth parameter is used to enable or disable WDT wake up function. After WDT open function is called, WDT has started to count. Furthermore, we have to enable the trigger of interrupt and the handling function of the interrupt. WDT enable interrupt function is used to enable the trigger of interrupt when time is up. NVIC enable IRQ function is used to enable the mechanism of interrupt handling. Above are all the initializations. WDT has been running in the background. In the while one loop below, we let MCU enter the paradigm mode and wait to be awakened by WDT. The flag is WDT wake up interrupt is used to tell if there is a WDT wake up interrupt. If is WDT wake up interrupt flag is set as one, it means that there is a WDT wake up interrupt trigger. Therefore, the LED red light will be toggled and log messages will be output to indicate the times of wake up. The while one loop will continue to run the operation of entering power down mode and awaking by WDT until the system is reset by WDT. However, when will the flag is WDT wake up interrupt be set? We have to check the interrupt handling function WDT IRQ handler for more information. We have mentioned that the interrupt triggered from WDT timeout will be handled by a handling function. In the sample code, WDT IRQ handler function is the default handling function. In WDT IRQ handler function, we set a parameter WDT interrupt counts to count the times of wake up. The value of WDT interrupt counts is increased by 1 when an interrupt is triggered. If the value of WDT interrupt counts is less than 10, the flag of WDT reset will be cleared. Therefore, WDT reset won't be triggered. When an interrupt happens, we will also check if the wake up function is enabled. If wake up function is enabled, the flag is WDT wake up interrupt will be set. Then, in the main function, it will know that there is a WDT wake up and toggle the LED red light. On the contrary, if the value of WDT interrupt counts is equal to or more than 10, the flag of WDT reset won't be cleared. The system will be reset after delaying an interval. The delay interval we have set is 18 WDT clocks. Therefore, the system will be reset after waiting for 18 WDT clocks. The hardware we are going to use in this demo includes two boards. One is the evaluation board, NewMaker M032SE. The other is level one training board. The two boards could be connected together. We will connect the evaluation board with the computer when we are doing demo. Before connecting the evaluation board to the computer, we have to turn on the virtual COM port on the evaluation board to enable the UR transmission. The way to turn it on is to switch number one and number two of the virtual COM port to on. Before connecting the evaluation board to the computer, we have to turn on the virtual COM port on the evaluation board to enable the UR transmission. 
The way to turn it on is to switch number one and number two of the virtual COM port to on. Afterwards, connecting the evaluation board and the computer via USB cable. If the connection is successful, you will see the virtual COM port status from the device manager of the computer. After connecting the evaluation board with the computer, we are going to show you how to do programming. In this demo, we'll use Kyle IDE, for example, to show how to build image and program. In Kyle, you may click the Rebuild button to compile the codes and generate image. If the compile is successful, you may click the Load button to program image into our microcontroller on the evaluation board. You may also refer to the video, the best MCU beginner course, lead your way to the Nivitant development platform for more detailed information, such as evaluation board introduction or steps of IDE download and programming. After the programming is complete, connect the board to the computer. Turn on the terminal. Set the UR COM port and power it and connect. Then press the reset button on the development board to restart. At the same time, you can see the log messages are output to indicating the times of WDD wake up and the LED red light toggles. After being waken up for 10 times, you will see the log message of system reset. The LED light will turn from flashing red light to stable green light which means the system has been reset by WDT. Above is the introduction and demo of level one training WDT sample code. Thanks for watching. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have questions. You may subscribe our channel for more information.